Hello everyone, I never made videos uh, like that, but uh, you know, when you find a good reason, you find a way to do it. And today the good reason is that I'm gonna present a very uh, small, it's very very, it's nothing super big, uh, but I have a small collection of games and music. So this is the two things that I am super loving and that I am super um, passionate about, is uh, video games and music and so... Um, Right now, actually, if you check it out, we have a blog. I'll put a link in the description. <laughs> and um, basically, uh, we are in Lvkov right now, and this is some of the stuff that I brought from the States. Mm -hmm. So, we'll start with number one. This is Draken. I don't know if any of you heard of this. Actually, I want to do a revisit on this game. And this is original package from 1999 or 1990. 1999 right here I got it for 50 bucks on eBay this is the most expensive item that I have for video games and uh, this is really cool because it's like showing you all the screenshots you know and it shows you like the way that it used to be you know the people used to put so much effort onto not only creating the game but also the marketing behind it and the CDs and, and, and all of these um, all of these details and screenshots you see, you can see a choice blend of impressive technology. Impressive technology, guys. If you see these graphics, this is some impressive technology and original gameplay. And uh, why did I buy this game? Well, actually, all of this is, um, I don't know, it, 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 I guess, I guess it's all actually thanks, well, partly thanks to my dad because uh, back in the early 2000s, yeah, he was uh, basically... <laughs> Back in the early 2000s, he had a lot of games and um, not a lot of games, but he was gaming sometimes and he was uh, finding these games and this is one of the games from my childhood and I played it and I finished it actually, I beat it and then of course there's inside, like I can do a whole unboxing of this but I'm not gonna focus too much on this, okay Draken, Order of the Flame, it released on PC in uh, 1999 and we played it and this is original box here, I'm very proud to have this and I will have this for another hundred years. And then when I'm gonna be old, I'm gonna be like, this is Dragon, this is my old game. <laughs> okay, it's okay. So, number one we have. Uh, now the next one, of course, Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. This is the second game, one of the fucking best fucking games in the world, with the fucking best soundtrack in the world. It's amazing. And uh, basically you can see here, it's card made from PC this is also original from 2004 over here so I made sure that I have and this is so cool years of stri uh, strife have passed the prince now is a battle-hardened outcast hunted by fate demon forces you guys know this if you play this you know how fucking great it is especially after you play the first game which I'm gonna get to it um, you know how fucking great it is and actually since we're on the subject of Prince of Persia I have to show you this. I have the fucking first game also. I have the Sense of Time, Prince of Persia Sense of Time. Also the same thing, original stuff. This is from over here from, well, it doesn't say, but basically this is 2000 and two, this is 2002, I think, or 2003. But this is for Windows 98 and you can see here how freaking great it is. I remember when I first played this game. Actually, I think, I don't remember which one I played first, the second or first Prince of Persia, but I just remember how I was impressed by the, like a draft, you know, like you have the first game and the second is just so badass. And I know that it didn't, and look, this is mature 17 plus and this is like 13 plus because this was much more, um, I don't know, I think the kids could play this and this was more hardcore and I think this has, this is really great, I'm really sorry, I know that the marketing didn't go so well for it, so that's why they are not doing, um, I think it deserves more attention, I think it deserves a remaster, and I think it deserves a revisit on the soundtrack, of course. And I don't even know, who would, who would, who would, uh, who would do a revisit on the soundtrack? I don't know, maybe, maybe me. <laughs> But uh, I don't know, I would love to, to, to do this. This Prince of Persia. And now I have, of course, I couldn't find the box, but I have the third Prince of Persia, which is the Two Thrones, so I'm kind of completing this trilogy. Actually, it's unboxed, so I haven't even unboxed it. 2006, also. Actually, I was stuck on this mission, I think. No, 
I was stuck on one of the last missions. I never actually finished it until the end because I was super stuck and I, I don't know what happened there, you know? And anyways, if I talk about this, this will be another. This is just an overall presentation. If you like the idea, I can I can talk more about specific games and my experience with them. But um, basically, here we go, Prince of Persia trilogy, original trilogy here. If any of you want to buy this, not for sale or <laughs> one million dollars, you know, that's no problem. Okay, so let's go to number Yes? Yes. Okay, good. So, so unfortunately the camera just died, so <laughs> we had to reshoot it. Um, I was just about to get to the second thing. I wanted to ask one last I wanted to add one last thing about Prince of Persia. This is one of the biggest inspirations for my rock music stuff. Uh, especially this soundtrack from Warrior Within. And uh, I think all the rock and, and actually uh, when I started to play guitar, one of the very first tracks that I was learning to play was from Prince of Persia and I have so many memories of in the house, plugging in the guitar and playing along with the original soundtrack and I just had a blast with this. This and Godsmack and actually I had a podcast on Godsmack so you can also check it out. Alright, so now second term, now, now let's go to the next one because uh, we still have a lot of things to go through. This is also a game. Uh, this is Riven. Uh, Riven. Riven, Riven. Uh, of course, it's probably Riven, and probably the Mist fans are gonna hate me for this, but then I mispronouncing it. But this is sequel to Mist. This is the second game of Mist. This is also another story, another, another adventure, and this is a whole original unboxing. Look how they did it. You have like a whole uh, triple here, like you have a whole sequel to Miss. Look, you have everything here, like all the all the packaging, all the all the. This is what? There's like a the people. Oh, the guys of Sion. This is awesome. So I love so much this game. I love so much the original Mist, and actually I am talking with the creative director of Sion right now. Um, and he said, unfortunately, I cannot uh, do the remake of the Mist soundtrack because uh, some of some of the some musical agreements and some some rights. Uh, but who knows? Maybe they'll have me. Actually, I, they might have me on board for something else. Anyway, so they have like a whole holy scripture here. They have a whole drawings. It's such a great thing. There's like five CDs in here, all with all the clues here, and you can see like that's just such a beautiful design and. Um, I don't know, this is really awesome. Again, this could probably be another uh, an another video uh, where I can talk forever about this. Uh, but this is also original, also from 1999, also super dope. Actually, this is from 98. And I actually also revisited a soundtrack for Riven. So you can kind of understand from where it comes from my revisits. They're coming from this, they're coming from these collections, from these games, from this uh, in big inspiration that I have for, for video games and music. All right, so actually now we're gonna go into the music stuff. I don't know actually how I should do it. Maybe I should do two videos, one, one games, one music, whatever, okay. Now we're going on to Godsmack. We just talked about this. We just talked about this. <laughs> here we have, we're just talking about Prince of Persia, like right here. I will honestly put both of these in the golden frame. Actually, not this album. I would put, um, so actually I have, I have, um, let's see, if, since we're on the subject of Cold, oh, Coldplay. <laughs> since we're on the subject of uh, Godsmack, uh, let me see, Oy. let me see. Oh my god, at the very end, here they are, so... I have first three albums from Godsmack. First three amazing albums. This is where my journey starts, of course, the obviously. Journey. And then there is a journey here, yeah. There is a track called Journey over here, and you know The Spiral, one of the most best tracks in the world. And one of the most best albums created in hard rock, and rock, and alternative rock, and metal, I don't know world is it for me personally is, 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 is this it started for me the journey actually with the Godsmack I stand alone this is also all original CDs um, I guess I want to be quick but actually there's a lot of cool things to see first of all the inside is beautiful look you can see me you can see the camera mm -hmm. hello hello this is how it looks and then inside here you have really really cool like okay you have Sally Arna, Shannon Larkin uh, Robbie Merrill and uh, Tony Rambola. Oh, please, I hope I said all the names correctly. 
Uh, but I have another amazing thing about this. I went to see Godsmack in New York and I went to see their concert and actually I talked about it in the podcast but I get to see all of them except except Tony in person and I actually get to speak with them. I have a picture with Sally and I have a picture with Shannon Larkin. You can put the picture over here. I can put the photos, yeah, somewhere here I can I can put them. Uh, and we talked and actually we talked the most with Robbie. We talked the most with the uh, with the bass with the bass guy uh, and uh, Basically, it was amazing. He was talking about his favorite records and all the stuff that they have done and um, And anyways, I, it's also another subject. I have a whole podcast about Godsmack and uh, Anyways, there's there's really cool and, and each each one of the albums it has something cool and this is the um, second band that I've discovered so like Actually, later on, I'm gonna have their Switchwood, uh, which is the first band that I've ever discovered, and then this is the second band I've ever discovered, together with Warrior Within. Actually, this brings me to a conclusion that I have started my journey with Prince of Persia with the second game. I don't think I did this. I think Sense of Time, I find out about it later. And then uh, I found out about it. And then, of course, through Prince of Persia, because they have the I Stand Alone track of Godsmack, I find out about uh, Godsmack and I start to listen to the Faceless album, which is the I Stand Alone is here on this Faceless record. It's a, it's a beautiful record, a beautiful. It's just amazing. If you haven't heard this and you love rock music, you, you, you just go, go now, 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 this moment. Go and check it out. This is, this is beautiful stuff here. Okay, I, I'm, I'm having some mess over here, now I have to clean up. Okay, now we're going to something a little bit different. I don't know if you guys know about it, maybe about Prince of Persia and, and all these other games I'm gonna share you know, but this I don't know if you know. This is FX Twin. So I have another project uh, called uh, EXO, right? Maybe you probably heard, you saw some posts, and actually, oh my god, the sun is coming out as I'm talking about You're EXO. You're having a blast. <laughs> I've been blessed by the, by, the, by the electronic music gods or something. <laughs> <laughs> because this is FX Twin and um, this very very beautiful album of his this is a very first and selected ambient works 8592 so really old stuff but really good there's Pulse Width this is Fernanda's favorite track in the world and there is the X-Tile x, -tile, x -tile, like this all of this is just beautiful this is super alien music the green call super alien like you imagine just aliens coming and then yeah, and then it's just really awesome. I, I discovered this in New York. I didn't understand it, and then one year later, I started to really get what's the, what's because I was all into rock music. You know, it's very difficult to switch to this. But once you switch to it, you you wow, you are just in this um, musical ecstasy. I don't know, and you really dig this. This is very beautiful, calm, and very nice to put in the early morning if you're starting your day. Okay, now we're going on to another band. Probably most of you know. Uh, if you know Godsmack, Tool. This is this is also so freaking cool. Actually, Tool. I uh, discovered this in my very first travel to United States, and this is uh, the second album, I Anima. Very beautiful album. And uh, actually, I have on the note of them, I have their first album also, Undertow. Also, unpacked. I don't think this is original from, I think this is a new reissue of course, obviously from 19, this not from the 93, but um, this is a really dope album and this is also really dope. I still didn't unpackage it because this is not the original cover for second album, but um, I think it's inside. I have to open it and then like switch it so you can see the original. Uh, really awesome band, actually somebody recommended it to me in Hillsborough High School. I was in Hillsborough High School in Oregon for one year. And uh, I knew, and I had like a teacher or somebody like this, I don't remember, like some, some one of the teachers actually <laughs> recommended to me and I started to listen to them and then, um, and then that's it. And then my journey started and then I, I listened to all of their stuff. Well, there's like four albums that they have. Well, now they have the fifth album. Uh, and also this is a very interesting subject. I would love to share more about two uh, because I have some... Die, recording? Die. Okay, this is part three already of this, uh, because the camera died again. <laughs> again, I'm we're, sorry. We're just having some little bit of luck today because we forgot to charge it. Okay, so I finished talking about Tool. Well, so Harry Potter. Oh, where do I even begin? This, um, this world, this universe, this is way before Prince of Persia. This is like, this is not the... 
this is not your like 16th and 17th, this is your like 12th and 13th like memories. And actually I have the first game also that I bought, uh, but right now it's in Slovakia, but I hope that it will come soon to Ukraine. Uh, and um, this is Harry Potter, this is my beloved Harry Potter. <laughs> Because I actually did already two soundtrack revisits for the Harry Potter, like more like a more and more of a remix, uh, and I don't know exactly if this is super original packaging. I would love, of course, to have like the box like I have for Dragon, but um, wow, this oh, I don't even know. I, I this will be forever talking about Harry Potter. I watched all the movies, obviously. I read all the books, obviously, and I played all the games except the last, the, the number seven number. But for me, these first three games have such a... They are so much deep in my heart, and they are so much deep, I'm just filled with nostalgia every time that I see them and I play them, and I really... Anyone that I get to know, like for instance, like... Uh, like I have, a, I, have a, I have a few brothers, I have three brothers actually, and my youngest brother, uh, he's never heard of any book. Well, he knows about Harry Potter. He never played the games. And like, if I see the chance, I I try to hook the kids onto this because this is a world that is just takes you away, and it's very beautiful. And I know that there is different versions for PC, for PlayStation, and stuff. Mine lays with PC because I only had a PC. And actually, not only did I had a PC, I didn't have a very strong PC. As you can see, all the <laughs> games are all old, and they're all from like early 2000s. Even though I was growing up, like, uh, like I was playing these games not when they came out, basically. I was playing them four years after they came out because our computer wasn't strong. So I was kind of like, you could say, stuck in a way with, with old games. So I always had to find some older stuff. But this was also amazing. My father had this installed on his PC. And, um, and, I, and I have a lot of recollections playing this. This is also another subject. If you like, I would I will talk to you about each one of them. It will be a separate podcast because there's just so I have so much to share about each one of them because it has a, a, a true meaning to me. Okay, now we come to another thing that has another true meaning, another deep meaning to me. Diablo. Diablo. This. Oh my God! I don't even know. I cannot. I'm sorry to be super quickly talking. I'm trying to get this fast. Anyways, it's gonna be like 20 minutes, 30 minutes video and uh, I'm trying to really talk about this uh, like fast and just, just go over over like, you know, surface facts but I just cannot help myself not to dig into it. This is extremely badass uh, input inside here. Oh. They have like three CDs. Install disc, play disc, you know, this stuff where you have to, it's cinematic disc. Um, I think I'm missing one disc. No, I actually, I actually I'm not missing because I was able to install. Uh, and it's such a great game. Also, another amazing soundtrack from Matthew Ullman. And um, actually, I probably you're gonna be in shock, but I did a revisit also on Diablo soundtrack. I had a. It wasn't exactly like recomposing it anyhow. It's just remixing it. So most of this work. I think the only work that I actually recomposed was Mist uh, track, the main theme, and then also the uh, Legacy of Kane, obviously. There's uh, those I, I, I recomposed them and everything. Uh, with this stuff, I take the original soundtrack, I remix it. I love the soundtrack so much. I love the first act of being in the wilderness and that's that's also another very deep and soft spot in, in, my, in, in this, like, in this child that lives inside, that, that remembers all of this. Oh my god, we're having quite a pile over here. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Oh, we're coming to something very cool, but... Offspring, of course, Offspring, Offspring. Uh, I have actually a very particular memory with this Americana album. Uh, this is from 1999. I don't know if this is also original packaging, but you can see here. 1998, I'm sorry. Really cool. Uh, it doesn't focus. Doesn't focus? <laughs> okay, does it focus now? No. Okay, you can see this. You can see really cool artwork. Like, extremely dope artwork done. Um, and of course, like the CDs, uh, like uh, before, you know, they used to do all of this. Maybe they still do it now, I don't know. I haven't bought any modern CDs too much. But they have all this artwork for all the albums. Really great. 
album and I just have memories to play this game called 4x4 Evolution. Maybe I don't know if anybody knows about it. It's an old game, it's from early 2000s and it's like a truck game. Very challenging, actually I reinstalled it and it's a very tough game to play. Uh, but I just remember playing this and my father had this because he had a story about this album. I think he knew somebody that knew somebody that was like in Germany and they, they, they bought it. They, they brought this album from Germany and then we were... Ah oh no, from United States they brought it. Okay, I have to ask him the story. Okay, next one. <laughs> Soul River. And now since we're on Soul River, I have two Soul Rivers. I have two CDs. Actually, I see people posting all the time in the groups about their Soul River CDs and they're getting a bunch of likes. But every time I post something like this, I have like five people like it and that's it. Uh, but this is freaking amazing. This is yet another story, yet another world to talk about. There's CDs here, CDs here, and then there is like here in the middle you can see like this, this, I think, I think the more time passes by the more in value this will, this will grow because, oh, I don't know, this is just beautiful. I, I love so much Legacy of Cain. I love Soul River and uh, actually my my journey with Soul River started with the second game also thanks to my dad finding these games um, and like that, like through the memories we were discovering this. Okie dokie, so this is Soul River, again another subject to talk about but I really love it. Okay, we're coming closer to the end, we have Mist, which I should have talked about it actually when, when I was talking about Riven, but here you have this original CD super mega cool also you open it up you have okay guys part four <laughs> again part four yeah this is the fourth this is the fourth time that we're recording okay i was talking about mist uh really cool cd you have everything inside there you have the whole description of the game and everything and i even have like for this is also like another video because I have also a journal like original uh, magazine of mist where it explains you all the secrets and everything and, and uh, some clues and stuff and this is so really really cool actually and last thing I'm gonna add is that I discovered this game all the way in 2010 like 2011 like it's from 1993 but I've discovered it all the way then and I and I played the real mist from 2000 and I never thought that there is actually this mist from 1993 which was like like this which was like clicking you know and uh, and in the real mist you can walk so this is really cool also another journey uh, let's keep going now we are going on to switchfoot so I don't know if there is a lot of people here that like this kind of stuff maybe it seems like different or something but I have four albums of switchfoot and guess why I have them well because I'm fucking fan of switch <laughs> because I was a fan of switchfoot mm. this is the band that make me want to play guitar this again, I also, I actually have a podcast also about them and uh, I don't know, nowadays they're a little bit in a different direction, they're not the same like before, but uh, basically, wait, hold on, I'm just taking one of the flies over here that just died, because we live in the, Amazing. We live in the countryside. <laughs> We live in the countryside, so for some reason there's always flies here and um, yeah, and you can see here the back of it. This is when there was the three of them, the original trio. There they are, John Foreman, Chad Butler and Tim Foreman. I mean, this is Tim Foreman. And then they're my, my favorite albums by them. This is where what Fernand likes to call Emma Virgins. <laughs> kind of <laughs> when they're doing this uh, hair style. I used to have this hair. Also. You should put a photo of you having the same style. Yeah, I should put a photo. This was. I was learning to sing on Switchfoot. I was learning to play guitar on Switchfoot, and I was taking the style of Switchfoot super much. Of course, I was trying. I have T-shirts of Switchfoot. I had a poster, and I super love them. I love them for their sound, and I don't. I am not too much. Um, religious because like God and religion for me is like two separate things sometimes uh, but I love them for their rock I know that for some reason they're labeled as a Christian band and everybody's like ah it's okay it's but like musically and uh, I don't know this has elevated me to another level and I'm eternally thankful to Switchwood I went to their concerts I saw them two times 
uh, one time in Portland, Oregon, and one time in uh, Philadelphia, in uh, Pennsylvania. And um, yeah, this, this, these first four records are very, very deep also in, in, my, in my heart. Uh, and then their new stuff is another story. Okay guys, so we're coming to the end. Over here, we have this very strange album. Uh, this, I probably, this is, um, yeah, this is really strange, and this album is really strange. But this is Otek. I don't know if you heard, if you heard of uh, Epic Dream, you probably heard of Otek. And actually, one of the ways, by the way, I didn't say Epic Dream and Otek, I discovered them through Radiohead. I uh, used to listen to, I listen all Radiohead albums. And actually, I should have bought some Radiohead albums as well, because I should have bought some. There's still not everything here, and some Coldplay stuff also, because that's another story. But um, actually, Radiohead changed their sound with the album Kid A that came out in 2000. And um, basically, the inspiration for that album was Epic Twin and Otek. Um, and just fly out of my head uh, the, the name of the, of the, of the guy, uh, the lead singer. But basically, he was listening to them. So I was curious to know, like, oh, okay, they got inspired to make this really dope album, Kid A, like electronic album. It has some cool songs, so yeah, and so basically let's go into, and that's it, and that's how I discovered FX2. Okay, and so here we come to Helmet. Helmet, I, mm, this is one of the most new bands that I, that I have actually discovered. I discovered them only two years ago, and I am, I felt so bad because there was a time uh, that I was really into discovering all the rock albums, all the alternative rock, and I'm still into that the same way. And I still really appreciate amazing rock, and I still listen to this stuff. And I discover uh, Helmet, really cool albums. Both of these albums were really dope from 19 from 90s, basically 1992 and uh, 1993, and really cool stuff. They have some really good music, and I would say like Helmet in Kubus and. Uh, Somebody else uh, are the the bands that I should have discovered 20 years ago, and I'm just discovering them like in the past one year, two years. So there is yet a lot of things to be said about this. This is my new adventures, and I decided to buy it because I love these these records. Okay, okay. So here we come. Uh, I have something interesting here. So this is already. This you don't need this annoying. Okay. So I have two last out things to share. Adventures in Foam, um, hmm. FX Twin, Otaker, and Kuho, or his name is Eamon Tobin, I would put them in the same line of electronic music artists from the 90s that have really dope electronic music ideas, drum and bass ideas, uh, house music ideas, and I would put them all in one row, probably. And I really love this. This is the first album of his. And uh, there is a, actually it's a very long album. It has 14 tracks and another six tracks. And um, why do I know about this? And who the, how did I even come to this from Godsmack? Well, actually, believe it or not, I found this guy through Splinter Cell. That's also another game that I should have bought and I should have it because I played all original Splinter Cell, the first one, the Pandora Tomorrow and the Chaos Theory. And so the third one, Chaos Theory, features Eamon Tobin. He's the guy who did the soundtrack for Chaos Theory and I so much love that soundtrack. I listened to it many times and it's a really, really cool soundtrack, electronic music with drum and bass elements, with soundtrack stuff. Really cool. I can talk about Splinter Cell and Eamon Tobin's work on it um, separately. But basically through that I discovered this album. I discovered this very first album. He was still called Kuko back then. And uh, yeah, this is cool. It's really cool. Okay, and so we're closing the video finally. You're like, oh my god, how much fucking stuff he has. But I'm closing the video with, with a very good close. Warcraft. Now this is a battle chest, but this is actually Warcraft. This is Warcraft 1. War I mean 1. This is Warcraft 3. Reign of Chaos. And uh, this is Warcraft, uh, where are you? Here we are. And here's Warcraft Frozen Throne. Amazing game. Another amazing world to explore. I don't know if there is uh, something here. Yeah, here is just like uh, some instructions on how to get it installed. If you just don't place the disc into your CD-ROM. Are you for real? Yes, I'm gonna, oh really? I thought that I'm a... 
What do I do with this CD? Where do I put it? I don't understand. This goes into what? Ah, into C I have to read some instructions. I have to put it into CD ROM. Mm. Okay. Warcraft. Oh my god. Uh, I think one of the reasons I went to school was to talk about Warcraft with my with my classmates. I, it was my inspiration to go to school to talk about the campaign because we're all doing the campaign for humans. Then you go into undead. Then you go into uh, orcs, and then and then you go into uh, elves, night elves. After this, so we have. It has been such an inspiration. This actually, believe it or not, again probably another shocker is coming, but. I revisited soundtrack for not for the whole Warcraft, but for the undead, which is my favorite race. I have uh, not mastered, but I have watched many strategies, and I've played many times, and I played Dota also. But I didn't that didn't get me as much as it got me the classic Warcraft 3 uh, playing and, 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 and the campaigns, and I love this game so much also, and the storyline, and and again, this could be another. I could make about each one of them another separate podcast, like for three hours, to just talk about this. So, all right, guys, so this is it. This is, uh, we went through this whole pile. We went through everything here. We talked, I talked about the Prince of Persia, Riven, I introduced you to this collection. Now, if you like this idea, let me know what you think. If you like this idea, I'll be happy to just Get one of the CDs and tell you, share you my story and how it how it how it came to be. Uh, and I thank you for watching all of this. If you went all the way down here, then I super mega thank you. I also want to say a very special thanks to every one of you that uh, showing me some love to my work throughout all these years. Uh, in anyhow, with your comments or with whatever it is, with the likes or with the comments, I so much appreciate it. And um, I have a lot of work coming up. I'm sorry that it has been kind of like, you could say probably inconsistent at some point, but it really has to do with the fact that I have uh, these different projects and I have this, and I'm still working on how to organize this correctly. Like now, for instance, I had a soundtrack music and I love to do rock music and I love to do electronic music and they're like different, you know, from each other. And I'm thinking how to organize it. And that's why I have the AXO channel, which is, if you guys like the Epic Twins, okay, it's recording now. Part five, and just the most short part because again the camera died. So that's it, guys. I said the things already over there that I super appreciate um, any sort of support from your side, and uh, also the continued support of people from uh, Legacy of Cain community. I think this is the strongest and most true and, and pure community and uh, I love you guys and um, I'm gonna have a Legacy of Kane release at the end of the year it's not gonna be 16 minutes it's gonna be just something much shorter uh, and that's it and so thank you um, feel free to let me know your thoughts and um, yeah this is the whole collection and let's see maybe I will talk about them a little bit more individually all right have an amazing time, day, morning, night, and um, that's it. <laughs> okay, Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>